it's taking its toll upon us. Bessemer City High Principal Dwayne Hale is doing the best he can to comfort Akorian King's classmates. We've had um, some students that received some mental distress on this morning. We did have some students that had some anxiety issues, some students that was dealing with some social and emotional um, setbacks from this unfortunate event. The 17-year-old was killed inside the Bessemer Stop and Go convenience store on Dartmouth Avenue late Tuesday night. Bessemer police say there was a fight inside. Two adults were hurt. The high school senior was a bystander. It's just an unfortunate event for a young man to be struck down in the prime of his life and, and we're still reeling from it. Hale says the social but quiet teen had dreams of going into construction. He was part of the school's Amazon and welding programs. His mother and I talked about doing registration. You know, what can we do in order to get him more outgoing? in order to continue to display those great leadership qualities that he had. Leadership qualities Hale wishes he could have seen flourish this year. I do know that we can support our families throughout this process, not just now uh, after the service, but ongoing support throughout the years that we're here in Bessemer City Schools here to support uh, the King family. Now, the store manager who was not here yesterday tells me he feels sorry for the family and wants to do what he can to help. The school district is offering counseling services to teachers and students who knew King. I did reach out to the Bessemer Police Department to ask them have they arrested anyone yet. At this time, they tell me they have an idea of who the suspects are and are working on getting search warrants. When they update us, we'll tell you on our WVTM 13 app. For now, live in Bessemer, I'm Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.